Oh, guess what? It's your Kelly Hyper Day again. How good is that? Three days in a row. And this just brings a smile to my face when I see it in my garage. Oh, so good. I just get, when I see it, I'm like, oh yes, it's that time again. Oh, super fun time. It's super fun time, babies. Oh yeah. Let's get more confidence. <laughs> With the throttle, you start understanding what people mean by talk monster. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good being on this bike. Some bikes, when you get on them, you're like, oh, I'm free, and uh, you have the sense of just exhilaration, fun, excitement expectation looking forward to the immediate future that's what this bike does to you and uh, for those of you who guessed that I was getting the mono you guessed wrong I got this uh, tried and trusted formula the 950 Yeah, I just felt that the mono, by the way, there wasn't one available to test ride, so I haven't even ridden one. But based on all the reviews I did, fun bike obviously, but uh, I just think going from the bikes I've been on, the big ball, big ball babies, super hyper duper bikes, to uh, the mono would have been a bridge too far in the wrong direction. And I'm not good enough a hooligan to really um, get the most out of mine. Now I could have learnt to have been a hooligan on that, I'm, I, I suppose. But um, I made the judgement call that that would have been a bridge too far in the wrong direction. And I reckon it was the right call. Uh, it doesn't mean I won't get a mono. I'll certainly ride one. Uh, I will the moment they are available for test riding. Um, I shall. <laughs> so good. Oh, it's just an urban warrior. <laughs> it is, it's an urban warrior and it makes you ride differently. And I'm sure by the time I do my running miles, the true hooligan in me will have awoken and I'll be uh, a really happy maniac. A really, a really happy, really happy, really happy. Uh, so yeah, it's um, just super fun. And as unserious, like you can use the word serious to describe a few of my bikes. This is unserious. Okay, unserious. Now look, today I am going on my regular Sunday ride, which is about an hour and a quarter up through the West Head and around those areas. I might do a slightly longer ride this morning uh, to see how the Hyper Mozart feels on my regular run. And then um, I had to work out which bike to sell, because I've got about four, the MR, the Street Fighter, the Multi and this. And given I've got the Ducati RS coming, maybe the Multi's got to go. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to work that out. Now, the way I work that out is I'm going to basically, at some stage, one of these weekends soon, I'm going to back to back all four bikes, one after the other, up through this run. And I'm going to make my decision based on that. Now, Hyper's got immunity because <laughs> it's new, <laughs> so that's not up for re election. Uh, but one of those other three have got to go. And uh, I think it's going to be between the MR and the Multistrada because I'm just enjoying the Street Fighter too much. But anyway, we'll see because look, you never know, this might, this bike might take them all out of commission. Could this be the perfect bike? Uh, we will see. Anyway, I'm going to settle into some uh, cruising now, get to my, get to my, uh, my Sunday run and I'll, um, I'll be back. Ciao, ciao.
the SLR 5000 baby Tirana Australian made V8 <laughs> they put big block uh, Chevys and drag race those things are fast 9 second quarter mile jobbies uh, that one's not but uh, cool cars worth a crap load really super expensive let's have a look at it Yeah, baby. Look at that. Um, I did my first real wheelie. <laughs> I did my first real wheelie off the lights back there. Camera wasn't on. It just basically comes down to how uh, aggressive you are below 3,000 on the throttle. So by the time you hit 3,000, where you got all that torque, uh, you've got uh, maximum thrust. Up she popped. Um, so it's one. I'm going to do a couple hundred <laughs> before I start videoing my wheelies and showing you my wheelie prowess. Uh, but I'm on the road. I'm on the way uh, from misery to happiness today. Uh huh. Okay, this is my regular sort of run. Oh yeah, it's just tailor made. Tailor made for it. Fair bit of traffic cyclists Sunday morning. Oh, God, yeah. Gotta stay in the middle of the road just because sticks and traffic. Bumpy through here. Almost down third. Oh yeah, I reckon I'm faster, and that's not hugely pushing it, but that's a that's what I would call a spirited descent. And I'm a heap faster on this than anything else, I reckon. It's just easier. The way it's geared, the way it's powered. Okay, here we go. No queue today. This should be f quick. How come cyclists don't have to pay the <coughs> twelve dollars? Hmm. Anyway, here's the uh, regular run on the hyper, which is made for this based on my first couple of minutes. <laughs> I think it'll watch for on these roads of sticks mid corner. Especially after a windy night, which I don't think we had last night, but you just gotta be careful, not gravel, but sticks. I never see gravel here. And when you get these uh, trees with the sun, you get the sort of zebra stripes. It's hard to see the sticks. And that's the only reason why, well, it's one of the reasons why I don't go nutso on roads like this. Unless you get direct sunlight on it. Here we go, blind corner. So the cyclists are out.
Oh yeah, it's just so effortless to push. Absolutely effortless to push. Um, on the road yesterday, on my big ride, uh, this bike saved my ass a couple of times. Double demerits, police everywhere. And I was on sections, kind of like this, flowing sections a couple of times. And I was flying where I thought I was, and a police car had come around the corner, and I'm like, oh, it happened three times. I'm like, oh no, I'm toast. And then when I looked down at my speedo, I wasn't actually speeding. I'm well, not crazy. I was only just on or over the speed limit. And so it does give you the sensation of speed, um, even though you might not be, which is a bloody good thing. And again, another key benefit and a reason why I bought this bike. Because on the other big ball babies, um, you're doing max six. When you sort of got a moderate throttle opening in fifth gear like I have now, you're doing crazy speeds. And of course the wind blast, it all, it all conspires in such a way that you, you don't find yourself going to jail speeds, if that makes sense. And you're still having a ball. And that, that is the key to, uh, to this uh, motorcycle. That is the key. One of the things I worried about going back to a twin or going to a twin uh, was I love that V4 torquey kind of creamery that you get at speeds like this and gears like this cruising and when you when you give a twist of the throttle you get this beautiful flowing awesome response and I was worried that I wouldn't get that I'm sort of testing that here. Oh, no, it's... Oh, yeah, because the, the, the torque response in any gear, like I'm at fifth, 5,000 RPM, the torque response is, is there. And so it is there on this. You get the same floaty, fruitery that you get from uh, the Multistrata in particular, which is my favorite bike in that regard. Well, it might be my second favorite now, we'll see. We will see. Um, overtaking, uh, overtaking power on this is awesome. Without being so fast that it scares the shit out of you, like the Street Fighter. So you feel like you're more in control in an overtaking maneuver. Not that I'm going to be doing overtaking double white lines. <coughs> yeah, this guy will pull over in a minute and let me pass. You watch. You watch. Where did that car go? Pulled over. Oh, the lock, the, the lock in the corner. The way it locks into a turn. Oh. And you don't really need to use body position, but at road speeds on the road, you can just sit upright on the bike, use the bars, keep your head in the right position, and the bike does the rest. I mean, I have been getting some practice with body position in on it, just to you know, do that, but uh, you don't need to. I'm not passing you on a blind fucking crest, mate. guy saying pass me why would I pass him here you know the average intelligence of car drivers oh, honestly I think it's pretty average now is this my spot I think that's my spot yeah, it is that's where I want to put the camera so I'm gonna do a flyby there I'll be right back
Yeah, baby. Yeah. That is Chinese for how sick is the hyper. How, how sick? It's really sick. <laughs> That's, they could have put that cream on to uh, calm down the hyper hots. It strikes again, babies. Uh, stop it, baby! Stop it! Oh, how good is this bike? Oh, it's everything motorcycling was meant to be. It's expressed on this machine. Could this be the perfect bike? Could this be? Could this be my new favourite? Oh, holy shit balls! Oh, floating. I'm just floating. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, just floating. If you, if you lift your chin up just a fraction, the the bike does disappear and you sit in 6th gear or 5th gear low RPM where the torque is and you just have this floating sensation ah. Floating. Okay, these roads here are rubbish, are uh, really bumpy potholes. Let's see how the 
tyre bar handles it. It's, it's a sea road. regular Sunday stomping ground. I've gone through all the little offshoot side uh, sidebars, had a good scout around my stomping ground on the high bar and it's been probably a couple of the most fun hours I've had out there in months. What a bike. Oh wow, the, the way it just hangs in that three to six thousand torque range, the, the gearing, the handling, the, oh, the suspension. Went through that uh, 22 speed hump test and I just basically stood up on the bike and didn't even slow down. Just boop, 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 boop. What a bike, what a bike. I've only owned it for three days and uh, gee whiz, it's gonna be a contender for best of ever. Best of ever. It's a new category for you. Oh wow. I'm just cruising through the haunted Wakehurst Parkway. You can Google it. This section of road is haunted. A nurse creeps into the back of your car at night, sits in the back seat, apparently. This is the haunted road, and I'm on it on the hyper, and if there's a nurse out there, jump on board. Jump on board the back of the hyper, strap yourself in, and have some fun. Because that is what this bike is all about. And so, yeah, wow, I'm going to bring you some fun times, YouTube. And uh, I'm going to modify the crap out of this. So watch out. For now, though, that's all I've got. Happy Sunday. See you later. I won't ride this bike all day. I just want to ride it all day. All day long. I don't want to get off it. I'm supposed to be going home, but I've got lots to do, but I don't want to go home. I don't want to do it, do all the things.